Hey guys, welcome back to Weirdcraft. This is Bowtie Daniels here, and picking up from where we left off last time, uh, I've made some uh, improvements and modifications to this villager breeder, uh, so we are fully up and running for an infinite breeder. Uh, I've cleared out the inside quite a bit. There actually was a zombie infestation in there at one point, and I did lose a few villagers, but that's okay. So you can probably hear the massive amount of noise. I've uh, set up this bunker area to start storing villagers in, and I gotta come up with a more elegant system of separating villagers and, and keeping the ones I want than just putting them in these holes, because I keep falling down, and... That's not a great way of doing things, but I have some water streams set up, the villagers grow up, they fall down the waters uh, on the sides as babies, and they grow up really down here in this tube. So now, once the villagers are down here on this block, I just put down the minecart, and it goes and it picks one up, and I can decide if I want to keep it or not. This episode, I'm not going to be doing too much uh, here. This server has actually been up for a couple of weeks, even though we've just started putting out our first episodes. Uh, we wanted to give people time to record episodes, kind of get ahead. Me, on the other hand, I don't like working that way, so I've put off doing too much work, uh, which is why I'm doing manual farming, and I don't have a pretty looking villager breeder, I just have a functioning one. And really, this is it. This is this is what I've done. I, I haven't done anything else in terms of building up my base and, and making progress in that area. So, there have been a few other projects, like community things and, and projects for other people that I've helped out on, so I want to go ahead and show you some of that stuff. Welcome to my little nether area. I've got a couple portals set up over here. I have another one down there. That's where I have my second breeder going out with my mending villager. This is my, for now, main portal. Eventually, this portal is going to be the main one. And this was just another portal that we needed to create to get somewhere quickly because I died and lost a bunch of my stuff and someone had to go retrieve it for me. So you can kind of see some pathways coming along here in the distance. This is what we're thinking is going to end up being our nether hub. Uh, we decided to do something a little bit different. Uh, it's not 100% official set in stone. If it's not our nether hub, uh, I'll probably still continue this project anyways because it's kind of cool and I like it. It's different. Most places that I've seen, they do their netherhead way up there, you know, around level 110 in the ceiling. Um, but we decided to do something a little bit different. We think this is uh, kind of cool. So let's go down there and check it out a little bit more. So here we are. There's not too much yet, but it is working out pretty nice as a way to get around. We do have to worry about gas coming through and blowing things up, so we got to hurry up and start getting this covered. And of course, as I say, that G word of gas ends up appearing. So let's go ahead and just in case, get a bow in the offhand because uh, we like trying to collect things like gas heads and there we go. Oh man. Let's uh, hope he doesn't destroy too much here. Let's get him. Come on. I'll get you. And everything fell into the lava. And now I'm getting attacked by a slime. Great. Uh, let's just put all these fires out. So yeah, this is something that we have to work on and figure out relatively soon because gas keep blowing stuff up as you uh as you've seen. So right now we just have it going off in uh, all four directions from here. This is going to be our main spawn area. So we've actually moved the community area from where it was in the last episode, and I'll show you that in just a second. But we figured this is kind of the central area. Uh, all of our bases are kind of going off in this distance, so I'm, you know, a little bit off in this direction. Ruler has his over there. Um, Russo, or Russos, uh, is off in this direction, I believe. And come on. I haven't been to Chaos's base yet, but I th think he's off in this direction. So let's go check out the community, or what will be the community area. Alright, so welcome to the community area. This little cave is not the official community area. This is kind of where Dwarvis has set up a temporary shop. He has decided to become kind of like the server uh, 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 caretaker, that's the word I'm looking for, and just kind of maintain the community area. Um, we're, we're, we've built this little cave and we've dug down into here. This is actually, um, even though it looks pretty real, this is mostly man-made and, and parts of this. We've uh, gone ahead and dug out a bunch of this. Uh, and something interesting to show is this upside down horse, Horvis, uh, Horvis, Hor Hor Dwarvis, Dwarvis, not Horvis. Uh, that, that I combined the word Dwarvis and horse together and got Horvis. Uh, so, yeah, if you 
th- this is kind of an interesting thing if you've never done the upside down horse. Um, it, it looks funny too to sit on. I, I'm sitting on the the horse's feet. It's like we're doing uh, a couple's yoga or something. If you've ever seen that out on the beach, so yeah, that's that. Uh, lots of heads, and this is just kind of where we set up our base of operations. But the real community area is off in this direction. So this is going to be kind of like the welcome center for people as they join the server. Uh, shameless plug for applications. If you're interested, please go ahead and let us know. Uh, there's going to be some information in the description about joining, some requirements, and how to fill out an application and all that stuff and where to go. So this will be the spawn point right here in this very block. This is not where we spawned. We've uh, made some adjustments so that this is going to be the, the spawn area. We thought this was a cool cave to walk out, and then you just reveal this awesome world that we have here for us. So uh, we have a beacon set up. This beacon serves to help us out with mining because it's got haste 2 on it and, and building, and it's also a good way just to find your way back to the community spawn area. Up here... We have a few things. Most importantly, right now, we have a bed, which I need to sleep again. That's two times. Maybe I should start a bed counter. Um, and this is going to be, like, Dwarves' main base of operations. Let's open this up. Go on in. Not much going on in here. We just kind of got the foundation set up. We uh, started this on a stream, and uh, they, we still have to do some variations on these walls and stuff. Like, these walls are, are obviously kind of plain and, and boring, but we just wanted to build the walls, and we'll go in and mix it up, texturize it, all that stuff, and we have what we keep calling the uh, the dungeon area, uh, the basement. So, yeah, this is the, the community area. Let's go check out um, some of the other stuff that we've done here. All right, now let's see if we can find this next spot. Uh, once we get close, it should be pretty obvious uh, where we are, and you could probably guess what is going on if you're familiar enough uh, with Minecraft and how people do things. And I am terrible at jumping up blocks. This is why I don't do parkour. Okay, so this is not the way we normally go to get there. I could be going in the complete wrong direction, so this might be a little bit of an adventure. So, yeah. I completely went in the wrong direction for where I'm trying to get to. So I'm about a thousand blocks away from where I want to be. Haven't quite gotten to where I want to go yet, but I came across this nether portal and... I don't, I don't know whose this would be, so I'm going to come in and check it out and, and see where this takes me. Ooh, th this, this is a very important other portal to have. We, we have come across an ice spikes biome. Hmm, right next to a flower forest and a... Okay, this is uh, unusual, but you know what? Since we're here, I'm going to grab a couple of things. Wow, guys, so I have definitely just taken a beating there. Check out how many arrows I have in me. That is quite a bit. But you know what? I think it's worth it because check it out. I got, whoops, a rabbit head, a white rabbit head. I have not seen one of those yet here. And more importantly, come on. What? Why, why, why won't you? More importantly, I got the husk head. The, the, the husk, right? Husk? Is that what it's called? Stray. Stray. Husks are the zombies in the desert, but I got the stray head, so I'm pretty happy about that. Let's go ahead and put my helmet back on, pick up the rabbit head that I dropped. Where did it go? There it is. Got a bunch of flowers, some ice spikes, and or packed ice, rather, and apparently someone has set up shop over here. I didn't notice this when I've uh, started doing some mine, but I think think uh, I don't I don't know of anyone that's living here at least the server map that I have or that I last saw I didn't see anyone living over here so I think that's just kind of like a little safety spot for people to hang out while they're here um yeah I don't know hopefully I did not mess anything up for anyone when I was over here if this is a, a, a base location but I don't know of any bases that have been set up here Let's uh, let's get back into the Nether and continue onward to the uh, the location I wanted to show you. Okay, guys, so we are getting close. Uh, these are torches I've laid out the last times I was here. 
uh, to kind of make sure I knew where I was going and help me find my way because, like I said before, I am terrible with directions in Minecraft. I never know where I'm going. So this stuff is all here to help me find my way back. So we should not be too much further now. All I really need to do is just follow the torches and I should be there relatively soon. Uh, except I don't see the next torch. Wait, where, where's, where's the next torch? Guys, and now I gotta guess. Oh no, I don't want to be standing on this. Because if that doesn't have anything under that gravel and it all just falls, that will be game over. Let's head up here. Hopefully I see another torch. Hello, torches. Well, so much for my clever torch method, because that is really not paying off right now. I gotta get rid of this guy. Just... Ow. Stop it. Come on. And you drop anything good? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, what's over here? Maybe this will have some more torches or something. I feel like I had more torches and they probably got blown up by a gas or something. Um, let's see. This does look familiar and I think... I think that's the area I'm actually trying to get to. Maybe not. Where, where are these torches again? Let me backtrack a little. And I will catch up with you, hopefully, next time I'll be where I want to be. Okay, guys, so we are almost there. This is what we're trying to get to here, uh, the spaceship-looking thing. Have any of you been able to figure out what we're going to yet? It should be pretty obvious by now. We're going to another fortress with slabs everywhere. We built a wither skeleton farm. Okay, guys, welcome back. Here we are. I've made it to the Wither Skeleton Farm that we've set up here on the server. Now, you may have seen this one. It's a pretty simple design. Not too complicated. Not much going on here. No redstone involved. It's a great starter Wither Skeleton Farm here. And what you do is you have these light sensors that raise you up just high enough where you're going to be able to see over... Uh, these slabs and stairs and the wither skeletons if we could find one will be able to spot you as you run back and forth and other mobs such as blaze and uh, skeletons uh, magma cubes all that fun stuff they're not gonna be able to see you unless you jump then you have a problem but the wither skeletons can still spot you so it's a nice little system we got set up here and you just run back and forth waiting for a wither skeleton to, to spawn up so if you go all the way down here It'll, it should be able to despawn what we just faced on the other end and clear things out so you can get some more weather skeleton spawning. As I come down here, I already got one. So you'll be able to see, you know, the magma cube is not able to get to me. We passed a blaze. He wasn't able to see me. But this weather skeleton is just tall enough to be able to see us. So we drag him down over here. They come up onto the hoppers. He can't hit us here because of this iron bar that's stopping him from being able to reach us, as well as the slab and these iron bars here. So now I just go ahead and whack him away if we have any luck. And no skull. But I am going to take all this other stuff because it is useful for doing some trades with my villagers that I'm working on. So I'm going to spend some time here uh, trying to get a couple skulls, hopefully. See if I have any luck and uh, I'll catch up with you in a little bit. All right, guys, so I spent some time there trying to get some wither skulls. Uh, I was fortunate enough to get a skull, just not a wither one. Can you guess what it is? It's a pigman skull. So, no wither skulls, but hey, at least I got this to add to my collection now. I'm gonna go on to the next point of our journey and I'll catch up with you in just a little bit. So, check it out guys. This is my other village breeder that I uh, talked to you about where I have my mending villager. It's nice and safe and secure with its own little moat down here to make sure nothing can get into it. And let me get up. Hopefully I don't die falling into the lava below. That is a real risk here. Ah, uh, you can hear the sounds of zombies burning. So let me come down here and... Where is it? Um, is it... Ooh, hello. Hello, little guy. Welcome to the world. Is this him? I think this is the guy. So, check it out. Yes, I got a mending villager right here. So this is an awesome guy. Um, anyone else in here that's really useful? Not really. Um, but I gotta let this one breed up a little bit more and see how things are gonna work out. But let's... 
get out of here because I don't want anything to happen to these guys. All right, guys, so check out. This is the village that um, you may have seen in a bunch of my videos. Now, I am on a creative test world here. I figured this was going to be the best way to show off my base because we don't have camera accounts set up um, on the server. At least not yet. I'm thinking about doing it. I don't know what the policy is for it. But uh, let me show you where I am uh, setting up shop. So this is the village that I've gotten the villagers from to do the breeder. This little area right here is actually where I have the villager breeder set up. So just kind of get some ideas and, and things. So right off over here, I have a desert temple uh, that I got some goodies from. But right in front of me, and I'm purposely keeping it off camera here, is where I am staying. So let me try and get all of this in... in, in view here and I still might not be getting all of it. Let me go ahead, tilt the camera up and show you where I'm staying. I got the render distance turned up quite high so you should be able to see everything here and voila! It's still loading in but this thing is just massive and awesome and I thought this would be such a cool place to build. So let's just kind of do a little 360 here just so you can get the full size and scope of things. Like this thing is just huge and it just goes on and on. Look at this. This is going to be a crazy landscape to build on and work off of. And one of my favorite things is what's going on back here. So this is a little village built into this uh, mountain coming up here. And this is where actually I have the secondary village breeder that I showed in a previous clip. So that is, I think, right here above this uh, uh, garden area. So I'm pretty excited about that. And this this thing is just amazing. Like. I'm going to be able to do so much stuff with this, but it's also to the point where it's kind of intimidating, like, to build with something that's offering this many opportunities, but just on the scale and size, and um, that's one of my biggest concerns for, that's a full 360 now, one of my biggest concerns for this series and this first season of Wirecraft here is just making sure I come up with something and build something that lives up to the landscape that uh that i'm gonna be working with like this is just it, it took my breath away the first time i saw it the second i i, I saw it flying around i'm like uh, like i have to uh i have to build here and this is gonna work out pretty cool i got this nice little cave that i can fly through and uh, i'm looking forward to when i get elytras and and one of the things that we're talking about is you know setting up uh, an elytra course here and there's a couple other biomes uh, nearby that are pretty similar to this that uh ruler is going to be uh, building in as well and we're going to be going in two very different directions, so don't, don't worry about getting tired of, of seeing the same thing. But there's just so much to do here. So this could be cool to turn into an Elytra course and connect it through to the other biomes that are similar to this in the area. Uh, and it's it's just an amazing build. So what I eventually want to do once I really get into things is I want to do a lot of my building inside of the mountain. Uh, my, my theme and my idea here is I want to kind of have like a top secret spy base where when you get close to here, you may see a few buildings on the outside and things, but the, the inside is where I'm really going to be working. So it's going to be an interesting constraint here to not go outside the mountain too much, as well as building within just this confined area and, and having to work up and down. A lot of the times when I build, I'm used to going, you know, out to the side or, or, you know, backwards or forwards, not up and down. I'm not used to doing a lot of uh, vertical builds. So it's just a cool, cool thing here. So I'm really looking forward to this and, and I'm excited for it. And I'm, I'm just flying inside here not to check things out too much, but so you can get the idea of the spaces that I'm uh, going to be working with. And this is not set up exactly like the server uh there we don't have the um the mob spawners turned up on here i didn't want to do that for the creative test world because i knew i was gonna be flying inside and checking out this space and just seeing what i had to work with um and i i didn't want to cheat and and find spawners and, and things that way so I, i'd rather just kind of go through the course of things and and build and uh, uh figure stuff out like that so this is what i'm working with this is where my base is going to be i'm excited and scared at the same time to build in this area but it is really gonna be awesome once i get done with it and i gotta really start planning out what i'm going to do so you'll probably see me jump back and forth between the server and this world as i map out and plan my builds and figure out what i'm going to do because planning is going to be essential when i'm working in these areas 
Okay, guys, that's going to be it for today. Thank you for joining me on the tour of the server, getting caught up on some of the updates and things that I've done around here. And in the next episode, we are really going to start building and getting some things going. I really want to make some farms, uh, begin getting preparations and materials for what I need in order to get this whole base up and running. And uh, we'll, we'll slowly start. I'm not sure if this will happen in the next video, but we'll slowly start bringing over some of our supplies and things from the villager breeder with the little bunker attached that uh, I've been setting up shop in and start moving it over here to make this my main base of operations. Uh, we'll also start doing some exploration, checking out the caves and things around here and uh, hopefully find some good goodies. I want to find some dungeons. Maybe I can get some spawners and, and, and that sort of thing going so I can uh, grind some XP and do some more enchanting and get tons of backup gear and, and find lots of diamonds and all that good stuff that always happens on these servers. So if you like the video, please leave a like, leave a comment, and don't forget if you haven't already to subscribe. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.